The next stage is to put the shadows going across the, the road. Medium size detail brush. Bluey shadow color, so it's cobalt blue with some shadow. So take that across there. There's the, the verge, just make that a little bit darker in there, like that. And leave a few little strips of light in there. By putting these shadows in, you can link one side of the painting to the other. And this comes right the way down to the bottom of the painting. Burnt Sienna and Shadow. Just extend that darker colour up onto the, the bank, just underneath that tree. Right, again, let that dry off. We've removed the masking fluid. Now we just drop in some colour into the white areas. Now this is some cadmium yellow. And just paint that over these white areas. Now, by using the, the masking fluid with the sponge, you can sponge on all this texture and it should look as if the leaves are actually in front of the tree trunk. And while that's still wet, with some burnt sienna, just drop that into just a few of those leaves, like so. And moving down to the, the fence, some sunlit green, with a little bit of yellow ochre. Wash that over the, the fence. And with that very light color, wash this over the beech tree. That's the sunlight on that um, beech tree further down the track. And put a wash of color over the fence. Some yellow ochre, foreground, I'm going to pick up some cadmium yellow, now if you have it thick enough it's almost opaque, so it's heavily loaded. What I'm going to do here is just dot some of that light colour over the dark, not too much, just a little bit, just to break up those those leaves. So really quite thick. Do that. Moving on to a darker colour again. This is some burnt umber and country olive. And on the face of that tree just put a few bits of shadow falling across the uh, front of that tree. Move on to a smaller brush, this is the half rigger, same dark colour and with the half rigger add just a few extra twigs and branches. Right. Going back to the medium detail brush, some burnt sienna, and what I'm going to do here is just add a few darker leaves in that area just above the road, so they sit amongst that texture which we put in earlier. And finally, the back of this tree, that is going to cast a shadow over this fence, so I'm just going to darken that just a little bit there. Well, that's the painting finished. First we started off with the sponge stippling a random texture for the leaves in front of the main tree trunk. Next I put layers of colour over the main canopy of, of the trees using lighter colours then dark but waiting for each layer to dry first. On the right hand side of the picture I stippled in a darker row of trees. This emphasises the sunlit canopy above the road. I then painted the horizontal shadows across the road and these darker colours again emphasise the sunlight. 
As you can see, there's lots of different trees out there and certainly lots of different ways of painting them. I hope you've picked up a few tips that actually help you to improve your trees. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.